Hey guys, it's called Gameplay here, and today I have a match of Domination on Terminal for you guys. The gun that I'll be using is M16 with Red Dot, Slide Pan Pro, Solving Power Pro, Ninja Pro, and Spaz 12 with Grip. I also have uh, Semtex and two stuns. So, rushing up in Terminal, if I always spawn on that side right here, I, every single time I always go through the bookstore, and usually I'll rush, rush right through, but I heard the guy, and I always control the escalators. Because when they're spawning down low on the bottom floor over by B, the closest leg that they cap is B, and usually is what they cap. So if you split three, three guys going to A, three guys going to C, when you're in the scanners spawn, you can get both of them and spawn trap them right down at the escalators, as you can see I'm doing right now. And I'll get, uh, I believe, six kills by doing this, actually. It's pretty effective, and... Also, what I want to show you guys is how to use the M16 with the red dot effectively. Because, frankly, I don't see red dot on an M16 enough, and it can be it can be pretty good. Because it's not that much worse than a holographic sight if you can use it properly. And the only I don't even see a downfall to using red dot as it takes up less iron sights than a holographic, so you can actually see more and your aim's better because of that but what I'm going to show you exactly what kind of tips that I could show you is that when you using the M16 with red dot you're going to want to hold up your left trigger longer than what you're going to usually do because the red dot has a wider bullet spread and for you guys that don't know what bullet spread is it means that when you shoot a round or a burst of M16 the bullets are going to go in a wider direction and not as straight than a holographic so if you hold down the left trigger for let's just say uh, one second it'll allow the gun to be go down the sight and be precise so as you can see right now I'm holding the left trigger and getting these kills I'm not tapping it I'm not going really fast like some people do and you can basically get one one uh, burst kills also another thing with an M16 red dot the the recoil is higher than the holographic for some reason and the damage is 55 or no the damage I believe is I can't remember the damage is but the holographic sight is 5% more damage than the red dot and because the recoil is a bit higher on the M16 with the red dot what you need to do is aim t to the stomach or chest when you're shooting someone because the recoil is going to always push up the gun towards the head and if you can shoot at stomach you're going to get three bullets into the stomach chest and then head and that'll turn into a easy headshot in one burst and frankly it's it's pretty good it's a good shot if you can do that so i haven't been on a lot as you can see i haven't made a whole bunch of commentaries but i'm back for sure 100 percent and i'm here to stay <laughs> summertime let the good times roll and yeah so what else I'm going to talk about is the Xbox 360 Slim so the new Xbox 360 Slim got announced in the E3 officially and in that um sorry wow my friend just messaged me on MSN Jacob Tac, Tac Magical I play with on Xbox and so basically the Xbox 360 Slim you have the only difference really is the hard drive which looks a lot cleaner because the hard drive is internal now well it's external but it's in the Xbox so it's not popping out you can't really tell this there also this the design is amazing it's astonishing when you think of an Xbox you want to imagine what they just made right now the glossy feel is perfect it's black which is more sleek and more appealing to the eye um, and it's a bit smaller, and it's also no red ring of death, and I keep on saying and because I think I'm gonna run out of facts, but I keep on going. Sorry guys, but plus it has um, it's not lighter. Actually, yes, it is lighter, and it's cooler. That's the word that's looking for, guys. I got it. I got it. Don't worry about it. And it's cooler. So because of that, you can keep it in more closed spaces. It's faster, also. Which I forgot to mention. So basically, it's just an upgraded Xbox, same price, but it also includes a wireless adapter and extra. So 250 gigabyte hard drive plus a 
I believe that's it. Yeah, wireless. Yeah, I believe that's it. Plus no R rod. So the only thing that I feel cheated about by Microsoft when I'm buying the Slim, if I I'm not buying the Slim, but when I'm thinking about it, it's just that I don't get how they can't they can put the price on an Xbox 360 Slim with wireless adapter to the exact same price as Elite, except it has double the hard drive space. It has a wireless adapter, which on the market sells for, I believe it's 80 to 100 dollars, which is incredibly overpriced. I don't know. It's just insane. I know a couple of people that have wireless adapters, and that's just it's insane why you pay that much money just for a wireless adapter for Xbox because Xbox marks up all their crap so much it's ridiculous but I can't complain so much because I'm a I'm a consumer I'm a I buy their stuff I have Microsoft Word for school Microsoft Office I have this Xbox I actually have two Xboxes so I I can't really complain but it's just sad how much Microsoft sucks your money and just keeps on going they don't stop really you gotta pay for Xbox Live and everything but then again if I, I'd rather pay for Xbox Live and have good uh, service than not pay at all and have bad service that's not against PS3 people at all I've never played PS3 online so I can't say but I'm just saying if it is better the Xbox 360 online I'd rather pay for it to make it better it's like playing let's just say um I don't know I've never played World of Warcraft but let's just say playing World of Warcraft I've heard of it and you're gonna pay for it and it's gonna be an awesome experience or you're gonna not pay for it and it's gonna be stupid also another thing that I don't really like is how the PS3 has had a wireless adapter for how long and the Xbox 360 just made it into integrated into the Xbox that's pretty sad in my opinion but whatever that's my game that's my mini rant at the end not really a rant but it's it's been fun okay peace guys